We're going to jump right into it. I'm working within 4.0 stable down here. And this should work for anything that's 4.0, any alpha or beta. And I've also got Blender. You're going to need anything above 3.0 for this to work. Let's see what we're working in. We're working in 3.4.1. And the first thing that you're going to do is go into your project settings right up here at the top. And you're going to make sure that you have the advanced settings turned on. If you don't have that turned on, this Blender setting is not going to show up. So you're going to make sure that that's checked. And then go ahead and go to the filter settings over here. And go ahead and type in Blender. You can see I already have this enabled. You're going to be under File System, Import, Blender, Enabled, and check that to on. Now you might have to save and restart your editor when you do that. That's totally okay. So what the setting does is it's going to make Gato look for blend files, which are the files that are native to Blender. So when you have this enabled, any blend files that are within your project folder are going to automatically be imported. So for the next step, you're going to be going to the editor menu up here and then editor settings. And then and much in the same way that you did last time, type in Blender to find the setting that you're looking for. And we're going to be, again, looking at file system, import, and then Blender right here. And the important one you're looking for is Blender 3 Path. Now this may automatically be set up if you've done sort of a standard Blender installation. If not, find where your Blender 3 or above is installed. It's gonna be in that main folder under Blender Foundation and then Blender 3. whatever. You select that current folder and then you're all set. So those are the two settings that you're gonna to need to get this working. Now, a good way to do this is to make sure you have Blender open before you open your God of War application. So now let's go head over to Blender. We're just gonna make something pretty basic. So I've got my Blender project ready to go. And what we're gonna be doing is taking this cube. In fact, we can just keep it as a default right now. And we're going to save this as a blend file right into our Gato project. So go ahead and find where your Gato project is. Blender meshes folder that I created right inside my Gato project. And we're going to save it as a cube. Very clever naming. And we'll save it. We'll head back into our Gato project. You'll see our importing underway. And there it is right in our file system. And you can actually go ahead, click and drag that into your scene. You saw how quick that was. It's just saving your blend file in your Gato project, and it's going to automatically import that anytime it finds one of those. All right, so let's go back into our Blender file over here, and let's just swap this out. We'll get rid of this cube because cubes are boring, and we're going to add, let's do a, a UV sphere. You can do something else if you'd like. We'll add that, and let's just go ahead and save it. We'll save it. And you will see that once you go back into Gato, it's going to re-import, and it's already taken the changes. You can make any edits, any changes you want to do in your Blender file. It'll automatically update in Gato. Now, we got this little glowy effect, and there's a reason for that. It's because I didn't delete my, my light right there. So when you're importing, let's go ahead and, and look at this, because this is also important. So look at our cube which is now a scene, a 3D node scene. You can right click that and go to editable children. You're gonna check that. And you're gonna see that we also imported our light and our camera and our sphere. Now it's not what we want if we're just trying to get our sphere or our cube or whatever mesh that you're working with, but that's kind of cool. So if you put a light within Blender, you put a camera within Blender, it's gonna automatically import that as an Omni light in this case and a camera 3D node right into Gato. There's a couple of things that we can do. One, we can just delete that within our Blender file. Let's go ahead and just delete our camera, and then we'll resave it. So back in Gato, you see that that camera node is now gone. It's, it's missing because we've deleted it in our Blender file. It's been re-imported, and it's done. Now, there's a way that you can stop Gato from importing part of your Blender file without having to delete it like we did with the, the camera. And what you can do is go into your Blender project and go to your object that you don't want to import, in this case, our light, because they have this weird glowing effect, and you can add a suffix to it. It's going to be hyphen, 
I'll move that so you can see it. No IMP, no import. So we'll rename our object with that suffix. We'll save it again, and we'll go back into our Gato project. I'm gonna re-import, and there's no light. There are some other suffixes that you can add to your object names within Blender that are gonna give you some more control over how this all imports. One, for example, if you wanted to automatically import a collision mesh or your, your standard mesh, all you have to do is add hyphen C-O-L for collision. We'll add that to our sphere. We'll save that. Head back into Gato, re-import, and we've got a static body and a collision shape for our sphere. There are some other variations of this. I'm gonna put some of those down into the video description. What those will allow you to do is adjust how your collisions are imported. There are different types of collisions that you can do. And there's also some animation things that you can import automatically. Let's go back into our Blender file. Let's add a modifier. Let's see how that works. We'll go ahead and add our modifier. Let's do a subdivision, because subdivisions are cool. And we've, we'll do one. Let's go ahead and save our file. We'll go back into Gato, do our import, and there's our subdivision. So even with a modifier, which is not permanent even in our Blender file, we can make an adjustment be automatically imported into Gato. Let's go back into Blender, and let's do Shade Smooth. Save it, head back into Gato, and now our mesh has smooth shading. So obviously we can adjust the, the vertices, the faces um, in any way that we want to, and it's gonna be automatically updated, but we can also do materials. So let's go ahead and check that out. We'll go back into Blender and let's set up material real quick. We'll go ahead and do new. And I guess let's just do a basic one. We're not gonna do any fancy nodes or anything. Um, let's just make it blue because it's a blue ball. It'll symbolize the world. Maybe the um, maybe that planet in Star Wars that they are Camino. It'll be Camino. So this is now Camino. We've set it to blue. We've got our material. Let's go ahead and name our material. We'll call it Camino. Perfect. We can even add a little bit of roughness because it's some water. Um, let's let's save that. And we'll go back into our project. And look at that. So not only can you do meshes, but you can also do materials. What's going on in our, our node here, our mesh instance 3D node? We've got our mesh right there. Let's go ahead and open that puppy up and let's go to our surface zero. And as you'll see, we have Camino.001 from our Blender file, which is pretty cool. And if you open up our material, it's already set up, ready to go. Now let's say that you had a texture or something as a part of your Blender material. So let's go into our Blender file and to our shading tab up here, and we've got an image texture node that is connected to our base color. So let's open up and add um, one of these albedos. Let's do that one. All right, got some, some rock looking thing. Now, if you save to this as is and go into Gato, there's gonna be an issue. Basically, it's gonna do import the blend file as it's used to doing, but there's a, a problem with getting the image file. And what will happen is that you'll get these error messages down here. And basically, what it seems like is it's trying to import the blend file before it's imported the image. And there's a workaround that you can do if you go back into Blender. What we'll do is we'll go to File, External Data, and we're going to pack our resources. So go ahead and hit that, and then go back into our node, and we'll click this button right here, it's Unpack Item. And what we're gonna do is use File from Current Directory, Create When Necessary. So we click that, and what it's going to do is save that image file into where we've saved our blend file, which is in our Gato project file. So we go into our Gato project, 
it's now importing that image. And you'll notice now that we have a textures folder right here, and then we can re-import our blend file, and there's our texture imported into our material. So again, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pack your resources and then unpack those resources so it creates those files into your Gato project, and it's gonna properly import those textures for your material. And then once that's in there, we can go back into our surface and you'll see that we have our albedo with our texture right there. And you can do all the normal adjustments that you would normally do. And there you go. A pretty cool way to automatically import Blender files into your project, make updates, make adjustments, add materials. Check it out. Thanks for watching and keep creating.